All right, guys, we're going to weld some aluminum right here. And remember, all of our welding is just on four pounds of oxyacetylene. I've got my smallest tip, my zero tip, you know, is what I weld up to about 20 gauge, about 30 thousandths. All right, now the smaller that cone, the cooler it is. The longer that cone, the hotter it is. Just off feather, a little neutral flame right here. All right, now I'm using a 4043 aluminum TIG rod. We've got some high heat flux. You have to use a flux or use a flux, already a, a rod with flux in it. You have to use the flux on aluminum just to break up the oxide layer because it melts at a much higher temperature. So just put a real thin coating. You don't have to put any on the metal. Make sure you got a good fit up. Now you also need a pair of glasses, a special pair of glasses to weld aluminum. All right, now if you'll always take that cone down, and if you can just sort of preheat that metal just a little bit, the, the uh, larger or thicker it is, a little more preheat, get the aluminum where it's just starting to melt, and push the rod in. Now the less you move the torch, the closer to the metal you keep that little cone, the easier it is to weld. You have a very soft, very forgiving flame. So even if you're just getting started with your welding, it's just an excellent piece of equipment. All right, now you always want to wash that flux off. All right, guys, now notice with just four pounds of oxyacetylene, just how nice a weld you get, 100% penetration, very little distortion. You can actually hammer weld, shape, form, and move that metal. So a lot of you body guys, this is an excellent piece of equipment because a TIG and MIG, if you weld that with electricity, you can't do that. That's a self-annealing weld, and that is the strongest weld on the market. All right, guys, we're going to weld this little aluminum tube up here on this little heater coil. All right, now I made the cone just a little bit longer than it was when I was welding the aluminum. Got the flux on my rod right here, still using that 4043. Go down and preheat it a little bit, and then put the rod down, and we're going to put all the heat on the rod until it flows and just sort of pull off of it real slow right here. All right, now you can see right here just how nice a weld you get, and that'll pressure test real, real well. Now notice that was real dirty. Again, you can come in and preheat it, take a brush and brush it, and then go back down and weld it. All right, now you can also do pop metal, zinc die cast. You can do your radiators. You can do your AC lines. All right, now we're getting ready to do some thicker aluminum. Okay, guys, we're getting ready to do some thick aluminum. This is about quarter inch. We've beveled the edges a little bit. You know, anything one eighth of an inch and over, just do a little bevel on your material. You don't have to clean it. It'll weld better if you'll just heat it up, take a brush, and brush it off like that. All right, I'm using a one eighth rod, a thicker rod for your thicker aluminum. Take your flux. Again, just mix it with a little bit of water. All you need to do is just put it strictly on the rod right here. All right, now, I'm using my number two tip. It's got two rings on it. Remember, that's what I weld, anything one-eighth of an inch and over. All right, I'm going to cut the heat up just a little bit, just to preheat. All thick aluminum. The larger, the thicker it is, the more preheat you have to do. Aluminum dissipates and pulls that heat out too much. You just can't go down and heat up that one little area. So you have to preheat a larger area right here. Go down and wait for it to start to melt or wrinkle. All right, now once it starts to melt and wrinkle, we're going to go back and make a smaller flame on it, you know, just all feather right here. All right, hold that torch just like you would a TIG torch. Take that cone down closer to the metal. We're going to go back and get the aluminum where it's starting to wrinkle or melt. Push the rod in. All right, now notice that we just physically melt that rod. Sometimes on real thick stuff, you can use a circular motion. But if it's flowing real nice like this,
All right, now notice just how nice a weld that we got on that thicker aluminum. You can see right there. If you look real close, it might be hard. We got 100% penetration on that weld. Now you can also, you know, you can, just like I was saying before, the guys that do horseshoes, putting heart bars in, it does an excellent job. Does a real nice job, the farmers with the irrigation pipe. So, you know, on the aluminum from thin metal up to 3 8 plate, does an excellent job of welding. All right, so now we're getting ready to go to some, uh, some steel. <laughs> 